Oh, hi guys, and welcome to our review for The Disaster Artist. Hi, nice. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Scott Ellis, and joined here by Tim McGavick. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Ty. Oh, hey, guys. Tyler Swatowski is also joining us. Hey, guys. Pull it together, man. I'm so Also here. joining us is Adam Franey. I'm here, and I'm ready to review. So how's your sex life? <laughs> 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 That's good. Tim, can you give us a little synopsis of the disaster artist for the viewers? Hi, yeah. Greg Sestero, an Ooh. inspiring actor, is great. befriends the unusual <laughs> and mysterious Tommy Wiseau, <laughs> and together they move to Hollywood. Yeah, when rejection becomes too much, Ooh. Tommy decides to make his and Greg's dream come true by making their own film, The Room. Disaster Artist, starring James Franco, directed by James Franco as well, um, also starring Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Ari Grainer, Josh Hutcherson, yeah. Jackie Weaver, mm -hmm. Alison Brie, Hannibal Buress, oh, yeah. Sharon Stone, Melanie Griffith, Zac Efron. Zac okay. Efron. Zac Efron. Um, Tim, let's start with you. <laughs> Since you just watched Recent The Room. Viewer. Just watched it Friday a few hours before we saw Disaster Artist. Did that, did, do you feel like that helped? Yes. I would say, if you have not seen Disaster Artist, watch The Room before you see it. It will add probably a lot to the movie. For sure. A lot of gags. Context. A lot of context. I will say the couple next to me, once the That's movie sweet. ended and they showed real footage of Tommy Wiseau, oh. uh, the, the couple was like, oh, this is a real guy? Oh. I'm like, mm, you must have not enjoyed this. Oh, then. Wow. That's rough. Mm, mm, that's rough. I have mentally prepared for people to say this is a terrible movie. So this is a terrible movie. <laughs> um, just as bad as The Room. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Didn't like it, eh? Did not like this. You didn't thing. think it was God, fun? Oh, you little bitch. Yeah, I'm a better actor than Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> uh, no, this is a, uh, oh, dare I say, great movie? Wow! So, dare um, How dare you? It's hilarious. Give it a six. Yes, it's hilarious. I don't think I think they showed the right amount of like behind the scenes stuff. Like there's actually probably a solid thirty minutes of like setup between Greg and Tommy and showing like their bizarre friendship before they start filming. Before they start filming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which I thought was great. Um, I had heard that going in that this movie is not just like a. It's just, it's just not poking scenes. fun at Tommy Wiseau the whole time. There's a lot of heart to it. Like, Tommy clearly means well, and he just wanted to, like, do right by his friend. Um, but Tommy is Tommy, so it does not go according to plan. Um, he does come off of it as a dick at some time, especially in the later Towards scenes the when he's filming. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of heart to it. I thought performances were great. James Franco is, like, great. dead on perfect Tommy. It's insane. Um, Spot on. Dave yeah. Franco is pretty much Dave Franco, but he's, I, I think he's, he's a very charming, likable dude, so I'm in on his character. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the whole cast was great. I thought Seth Rogen was like, he's very, Seth Rogen easily takes over a scene. I don't mm -hmm. think he does that in this movie. He's like very subtle. Pretty he subtle, doesn't yeah. do his laugh. <laughs> he's just yeah. like, he's playing like a... He plays it straight. He plays it straight. It's, yeah. it's even funnier that he's, that, that refreshing. he's straight. Yeah, it's yeah. so refreshing. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just really clever the ways that they that they filmed certain scenes, I guess. Um, so it's like certain like I don't know. They showed they, they they chose like good scenes to like recreate, recreate like, in the mm -hmm. movie. So like the rooftop scenes are all pretty funny or poignant at least. Um, the one with um, uh, Zach uh, Zach Efron oh. was like hilarious. Oh. I didn't realize that Zach oh. Efron until like. Later in the movie, where you seen like in the audience watching. Oh, you didn't know that? Like, Holy fuck! That was Zac Efron playing Chris R. <laughs> Chris yeah, R. Yeah, Chris yeah. R. Um, Chris yeah, I, I really yeah. liked the movie. I really liked. It. I thought it was well awesome. directed, well shot. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in. I think, I think it was hilarious. Yeah. I just was cackling the whole time. Yeah. I thought James Franco was perfect. Yeah. Like he'll def. I think he'll be nominated. I think so. Yeah. Oh. I think he'll be nominated. I don't know if that's a bit too much. Before of I saw it, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's still it's like a comedy. Like it doesn't happen very often where you see someone get nominated for like a comedy. True, role, yeah, that's right? true. But um, the whole cast was great. I don't think there was a single misstep there. No. Um, just I just kept dying at 
Jackie Weaver scenes. <laughs> just yeah, how um, the scans came back, and I have breast cancer. <laughs> oh, shit. Or I forget the I line. Definitely I definitely have breast cancer. Yeah. Just like a straight face. I don't know why. I just couldn't stop laughing at those. And honestly, every minute there's a laugh. Like yeah. I was cackling, and I just loved at the end that. The, the, the movie shot. ended, and the, it wasn't even. It was like before the credits. Though. Mm-hmm. It was like yeah. still part of the movie. Yeah. They just show side by side. Yeah. Side yeah. by side shots, the room and recreation that they did, and that's just so odd to me, but it worked. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. And I was dying at that. I just loved that. Um, just overall, I just had a great time. What do you, What do you guys think? Tyler, let's start with you. Um. Not a huge fan of the room. Unless you're hammered and with, is, group, not, not out and with a group of people. Um, this was good. I don't think I loved it as much as you guys did. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, I was laughing, but I didn't I didn't love this movie. Really? Yeah, it wasn't like... I wouldn't say I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was an enjoyable experience. Yeah, it was... I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a good movie. Um, I thought James Franco was fantastic as Tommy Wiseau. I think he perfectly nailed uh, all of his mannerisms and the way he just carries the way he speaks because that's a very important part of this character is all of like the, like the emphasis on his words and like how he like how he says it and I think Franco did a really good job of that um, I love the the end like that was the best part for me I think was like the, sh- like the side by side shot for shot like where they did the same thing what I was really hoping they would do is like before I saw the movie I was hoping that like at certain points where they were filming um, I was hoping they would show like that's when they would show the side by side like they would show like him filming it and then like kind of show like part of the room as well, like showing that side by side kind of thing. I thought that would have been kind of kind of cool. Well, they they t- might have, they might have toyed with that idea, but yeah. I feel like that would have taken it would have taken me out of it. Yeah, yeah. I feel right. like that, but I feel like it would have been like the ballsy move that if anyone was gonna do it, they would have done it kind of thing. Like like this is like the gang or this is like the movie that would have done something like that. So I was kind of hoping they would do that, but you know what? They kept it at the end. Like I was hoping they would do like a side by side at the end, and they did. So I was happy. Um, yeah, but this was this was this was really good, and yeah, but James Franco I think was the best part of this. Like he for yeah. sure carried this movie. You know what? Sorry, I know Adam wants to give his opinion, but we're, we're, you're not going. To I just I love that th- there's so many unex- unexplained things about Tommy Wiseau, and I love that they acknowledge that yeah. and they didn't try to answer it. No, <laughs> the guy like, is so mysterious. He's from New Orleans apparently, but where is Ooh. he really from? Where, where does his money come from? from? How, how old is he? Yeah. He's, he's your age. He's your age. He's, he's my age. He's How old is it? Early twenties. He's just your age. You know. I love that they didn't try and like the unexplained story, the hidden story behind the room, and they try to go into his backstory. They just kept like bringing it up. To explain it, was so it good. and you just can't, right? And I think they they nailed that aspect of it, and how they focused on the right things, and mm-hmm. it, I think it's the reason behind why he was on that journey and wanted to become an actor and mm-hmm. follow his dream and it was it was it was approached at the perfect angle I feel yeah. I feel what are you what are your thoughts Adam uh I thought this movie was amazing amazing absolutely loved it funniest movie I've seen in years uh, wow. most fun I've had in a theater in years three billboards it blew my mind I thought it was funnier than Three Billboards. Oh, wow. Which is out this week, by the way. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, gotta see that. So, Hi. it's if, so. Yeah. It's, it's no big deal. You were there. Mm. Ooh. Who was, who was there again? Cumberbatch was Cumberbatch there. Cumberbatch was there. Cumberbatch was there. Who else was there? Who Sam else Rockwell was in the scene. Sam Rockwell was there. <sighs> we're not talking about Three Billboards. Anyway, so sorry. Was um, disaster. Oh, heard. Um, well, speaking of tip, I'm very happy when I told James that it looked brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Can you tell tell that story, quick, please? Quick little side tangent here. We were seeing Killing of a Sacred Deer. Uh, I went to the lobby to pretend to get popcorn in hopes of seeing a famous star, star of some sort. In walked James Franco, man's a god by himself. By just himself. like walking around. Yeah, literally just went up to like one of the theater people and was like, "Hey, can you show me my seat?" And the guy's like, "Yeah, right here." And I just went, James. Did you actually touch his shoulder? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it would have been tackled in you. Like, Show me. Like, your arm would have like broken in 13 different... <laughs> yeah. I was just like, he was walking toward me because I was standing in the doorway and I just said, James, disaster artist, looks brilliant, man. And he passed me and then stopped and took a step back and gave me that James Franco squinty smile. It was just like, thanks, I'm dude. so fucked up right now. 
High five me and kept walking. Amazing. I never washed his hands since. <laughs> he just <laughs> grabbed me so many times with that. It's like gangrene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oof. Not good. Great. No. Uh, yeah, it just transcended comedy for me. I thought wow. that his. Wow. Transcendent. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's really funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, hot yeah, take. No, it's good. I don't know if it's a hot take. Best picture nominee, guaranteeing it. We'll put money down. Mm. If anyone wants to bet. Hollywood does love Hollywood. Hollywood. We'll say that. I think they'll love the irony of like the room being terrible and this being good. Uh, That'd yeah. be so crazy. He's definitely getting best actor. That's like like obvious. I don't think anyone would argue that. Like a nomination, not win. But, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Just blew me away. I loved. It was just like an inspiring story as well. Like there was a lot of heart to it. It wasn't just a spoof of a bad movie. Yeah. yeah. Like I've seen a lot of people saying it's like the new Ed Wood. I would agree. I like it more than Ed Wood, obviously. Um, no, obviously Ed Wood's it good. It's like the Ed Wood movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It's very similar. A lot of people comparing it to Ed Wood. I gotta see Ed Wood. Yeah, Frank Coach did an amazing job directing, writing, acting. I just thought, like you said, he cast everyone to a T. And just like the not like it's it, it was one thing to recreate scenes that's like the easy low hanging fruit to get everyone to laugh yeah but it's the scenes that we don't know about like when they're in the club dancing to the rhythm of the night perfect I mean, I, I, oh I, I laughed so hard when uh franco's at his audition and they asked him to lose his accent he just goes literally the hardest i laughed oh. In the movie, like, what is that accent? It's Eastern European, it's Louisiana, <laughs> New Orleans. Like, yeah, try without. Welcome oh, to fuck. the club. Yeah. <laughs> so two, cringe. So two cringe. things. Oh, that. Right. Well, and, should we give uh, our before we get into this? Right, let's right. give our ratings, and we'll get into some spoiler talk. We'll we'll talk about some more specifics. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna go. Ooh. All right. Two and a half. Ooh. Um. Oh boy. Heavy four. Oh, wow! Oh, I could have been a four. Honestly, it might be four. It might be in the moment, giving a heavy four. But didn't be four? Like? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Move on. Heavy four. <laughs> heavy four. I can't really That's think of much thing. that I don't like about it, but I don't know why it's Good not four. five. Okay. Probably because it's a comedy. Um, it's but three. heavy four, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed wow, it. Wow, okay. Ty. Shock you guys. Three. Heavy three. three. Heavy three. Heavy three. Wow, yeah. Fuck out of here. It's, it's not a good movie. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> could be four, could be four. Could be four, could be one. Five. Five bang. Sorry. What? Whoa. Doing it. Are you clouded by the Franco moment that you had? I, I think so. You feel obliged to give it a five. Because he's, he's watching watch, you now. You're like, James, James he's looking disaster great. artist looks great, bud. Don't you back, man. It's like, I saw this fucker in Toronto. I know he's got a fucking Uh, podcast. yeah. Just, I, nothing disaster I didn't like. Disaster five bang. Most, wow. I I mean what I said. Most fun I've had in years. Now, question: How much did you mess of it? Because I did nudge you awake. I, <laughs> point. You, you did asleep. not. Uh, at least half an hour. <laughs> you you give it a five. You haven't seen the whole minute. movie though. Maybe that's why I like it. I think you were up for like two minutes. Wow. You missed the best part. No, I shut my Because you were just laughing, and second. then I looked over like a minute later, and you were like, Yeah. <laughs> Was very tired. I can't believe you fell asleep, but and you're gonna give it a it's five bang. bang. You was asleep for maybe like a minute. But. It was it was nothing. I can't believe you brought this up, Tim. Jesus Christ. I need during the first truck. No three. three. Fuck it. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Well, let's so. move on to spoilers. Um, is there anything specific? Fair warning: if you haven't seen Disaster Artist, we will be discussing particulars. Is there anything, Adam? You were in the middle of saying something when they ended. Oh, just you. the second, like funniest Funny part. part. Yeah. Was um, <laughs> oh god, Tommy, you fucking freak. Um, uh, blanking on what it was now. Like, Sex scene? Was it the acting class? When he just like cuts back to him, he's like halfway no. up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. It was when they're trying to get the scene when Greg's telling him about the girl who got beaten because she had 12 <laughs> different boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps laughing. <laughs> Co story, That's man. hilarious, man. <laughs> Like, great story. Seth Rogen's like, can we try one, one take with, yeah, with, uh, just a different, just, just do it differently. Does the exact same reaction yeah. like four times in a row. I love it. Real human emotion. And just the, um, the rooftop scene that like, we see in the trailer that they basically recreated. Yeah. It's yeah. still amazing. Even though it was in the trailer, they, there was a bit more to it. Yeah. Which I always love when they do that. Yeah. You don't want to be, 
watch the trailer and see a joke and then watch the movie and see this exact same joke mm-hmm. no definitely the yeah. one you saw it's like nice right. uh, like nice guys, nice guys. the toilet scene yeah. was like extended they the extended movie. it yeah. just like made it even funnier it made it so much better yeah. and they did the same thing with this with that <laughs> scene and that scene was pretty hilarious how that continued yeah um yeah I thought the sex scene was hilarious where she did like Franco did go method for this we can confirm that he we did. He 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 did. Well, he things. shot the film as Tommy. Yeah, basically. kind of. He he directed. He kept the voice. Okay. He didn't like pretend he was Tommy Wiseau while like directing, but okay. like, he kept the voice going. So like he didn't lose it. Apparently, people were like confused when they were like he was giving like directional notes, but he's like talking as Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> <laughs> I just I thought it was so great how like he's doing like the sex scene. I have to show my ass. <laughs> That's going to sell the movie. Just my ass is and so and then like like you see like like the actress is very uncomfortable. With this sex scene, yeah, that and was cringe. That, yeah, like that, especially like nowadays, like with all, like all the stuff that's coming out. Like I thought that was kind of funny that that was in there. Um, it was very ballsy. Yeah, very ballsy. That, that really? was, yeah, but, oh, ballsy physically. Ballsy. Yeah, Oof. I I thought that was hilarious though. Like she was just like super uncomfortable, and he was just like, I have to sell my ass, and it's like it was so good. Gross. Anything more um, specific? Or? The dress scene. Oh, like just all like just he he was so great in this. You know what? You gotta see it to believe yeah. it. Watch the room first with your friends. Mm-hmm. Have some drinks. Have some fun. Then see the disaster artist. It's doing well at the box office this week. Um, I think it's second. Yes. I think it's second. Behind Coco. Yes. Um, check out Disaster Artist. It's a fun time. It's hilarious. Very funny. Great performances. Check it out, Tim. Where where can people find us? Uh, people can find us on Twitter at Up Real Late. You can oh, find me personally on, on Letterbox at Up Real Tim and on Instagram at The Craft Pundit. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Up Real Late Podcast. You can also find me on Letterbox at Up Real Tim. Thank you for that. Hmm. You can find me on Twitter at Franny Twenty Five and Instagram and Letterbox at Up Real Adam. Find myself Scott on Letterbox at Up Real Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion about the disaster artist. Mm. As well, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy our stuff. We do appreciate the support there. As always, keep it real. Didn't, uh...